Hello, my name is David Nabarro and I work as Special Envoy on Ebola for the Secretary General of the United Nations. This outbreak of Ebola virus disease started towards the end of last year, but by August it was clearly becoming the most serious outbreak of Ebola that the world has ever known. The United Nations has been working with the affected countries to support their responses since the outbreak started. But since August, late August this year, a more intense United Nations response has built up that has culminated in the launch in mid-September of the United Nations Mission for Ebola Emergency Response which deployed into West Africa at the beginning of October, and that is now the umbrella for a very intense response of a number of different UN bodies destined to support the governments and the communities who are acting to try to reduce and eventually eliminate the Ebola outbreak. As I speak, there are signs that the increase is beginning to slow in some parts of Liberia, and to an extent also in parts of the other two most affected countries, Sierra Leone and Guinea. However, the outbreak is still strong and it needs concerted efforts for the weeks and months to come. The United Nations depends on contributions from its members in order to be able to provide a strong coordinated response to the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Uh, this means that the United Nations requires finance, it requires people, and it requires materials to do this work. You can help by donating now to the Ebola Response Fund. Your donation will help the United Nations continue its life-saving work in West Africa and will bring us closer to stopping the Ebola outbreak. Visit www.unfoundation.org forward slash Ebola fund to learn more and to donate or text Ebola to 27722 to give $10 to help the United Nations in its fight against Ebola.